a little review of the Love Me Beauty November box to share with you. Um, in case you don't know about Love Me Beauty, they're a little bit different in the fact that they are a kind of beauty sampling subscription service. However, you can pick what goes into your box each month. You get um, a choice of three menus every month and you can pick the product. So it's still a surprise because you probably wouldn't have tried every single product in it um, beforehand, but you can definitely pick what you want. So you can tailor make it to what you would like, which is um, I think something that makes it very different to all the other subscription services that are kind of buzzing around. So this is a little card that came with it. I love the new design. Um, they used to be called uh, Beauty Co Box, but now they've changed their name. And you get a little picture and the name of the product. I believe you also get the price, yes you do, of each product that is in the box. So, I really am very impressed with this box. It's got some really nice bits in it. First of all, I'll start with this. Um, this is the Models Own Nail Polish. I've never tried a Models Own Nail Polish before, so this is kind of exciting. They've just introduced a stand, just, would you believe, to my local Superdrug. So I've been kind of ooh and ah over that recently. But this one is in hot pink. Not really a very Christmassy shade, however, what I wanted the box for, I'll show you in a minute, but this was just the kind of the nail polish colour that came with it. The variations in this are pretty much shade based rather than product based, so I kind of went through the menus and did it based on the shades that I would like for different products, so I just thought that was kind of cute. I think there's a cobalt blue one and a red one, I believe, I believe. Um, another product that's in this box, and I believe it's in all of them, but don't quote me on that, is the uh, Le Soir Purifant Absolution. It is a purifying uh, mask, and it's all written in French. <laughs> but anyway, it's a purifying mask. Let me just see what it says in the um, little card. It's a skin renewing mask that rids skin of impurities whilst restoring radiance and vitality. An exclusive cocktail of birch sap and white clay. Oh, birch sap, that's interesting. Um, absorbs, uh, I guess they mean absorbs impurities, they put absorbs purities, but we don't want that to we? Absorbs impurities and tightens the pores, so that's kind of cool, you just leave it on for 10 minutes. I don't know what it smells like. Let me see, what does it smell like? Not a lot really, but that's kind of cool. Um, always use face masks, I've got loads of them so I can always do with a couple more. This one has been in one of their boxes before but I believe it was like a body lotion. This is by Mitchell and Peach and it's their shower gel. And what's it called? I don't think it's got a, a particular name for it but it's just a little size like this and I believe this smells of lavender. Lavender and something. Lavender and something. Yeah, but I think the thing that always disappoints me about Mitchell and Peach products is because of the mention of the word peach, I always expect them to smell kind of fruity. I don't know whether that's just me. So I kind of open it and I'm always disappointed by the smell because it's like, oh, I thought it was going to be peach. And it's like, oh no, no, that's just the name. Anyway, but I will use that up. That's 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 a cool little sample size. I like that. Now onto the products that I really wanted the box for. First of all, I'm wearing all of these today. And they're all makeup products, which is brilliant. This is a Jelly Pong Pong 2 in 1 eyeliner and shadow. This was in a, the same product as in a glossy box recently, well, recently, a few months back now, um, but in a green shade. This is what I have on as my eye base today, if you can see. And I have uh, Senna's Cordovan eyeshadow all over the top of it, so I actually just used it as my base, but I really like this. It's very nice, very creamy, nice kind of bronzy shade, as you can see. Blends really nicely. I like that, so that's a good product. Um, this uh, is what I really wanted the box for. They have th obviously three different shades of this one, um, of this particular product. And this is the Art Deco Hydra Lip Booster. It's a lip gloss. And I never really tried, well, I haven't tried anything from Art Deco before. This one is in translucent rosewood, um, number 36. And I have that on today over a lipstick that I'll show you in a minute that came in the box. Really lovely, really lovely. Smell really nice. Um, if I just swatch it, just a little dough for applicator really quite, um, it's called translucent, but it's really quite, quite a potent shade. So that's why I picked the box really, because I wanted this one, because everybody can do it like a nice nude rosy gloss, can't they? So I put that on today over this lipstick. This lipstick is by Lord and & Berry, and this is um, an added little extra in the box this month, because if you remember the review I did last month of Love Me Beauty, the October box, um, there were two products in it that I was really excited to try, and they were complete letdowns. They were by Lord & Berry. Uh, one of them was an eyeliner, it was a grey eyeliner, and the other one was their Scuba Mascara. Now, I thought I was just being unnecessarily harsh. Um, I'm, I don't tend to be unnecessarily harsh with things like that, because they are subscription services, sampling services, and you know, 
what will work for one person won't necessarily work for somebody else but I really did have a hard time with those two products the mascara didn't have any pigment in it and the eyeliner I had to sharpen because um, it was there was like a manufacturing fault with it and I couldn't get any of the um, coal out from the packaging um, and uh, they took that on board and a couple of I guess more than a couple of other people probably um, had the same um, disappointing uh, experience with those two products so as an added extra Lord and Berry um, apologized said they were going to look into exactly what had happened with the manufacturing and they put in this in the lovely beauty box for November as a little added extra and it's one of their lipsticks and it's the lipstick I have on today underneath the um, Art Deco lip gloss and I think this is lovely it's uh, the Brick Lip um, Intensity Satin Wear so I believe it's called Brick but I love colors like this it smells lovely really really nice kind of kind of like the L'Oreal lipsticks looks like this looks a little bit darker on camera than it actually is when you apply it but it's got this beautiful it's a lovely satin texture and it just looks like that it's a beautiful 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 kind of dark rosy color so perfect for this time of year so they've redeemed themselves in my eyes because I really like the lipstick it's lovely and I have it on as I said today very nice I really like it so those are the, the things that I got in my Love Me Beauty box in November if you are subscribed to Love Me Beauty let me know which menu you pick so um yeah let me know which subscription services you are subscribed to and uh, yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone